the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Thank you, Dina, that was lovely. That story is about people that you don't like. The Jews and the Samaritans, they didn't like each other. A bit like if you're a Norwich City supporter, you probably don't like Ipswich Town supporters very much. I'm going to make three statements now, and I'd like you to put your hands up if you think they are true. Number one, there has been a time in my life when somebody has been unkind to me. Very good. Thank you. Put your hands down, please. Number two, I like it when people listen to me. Very good. Hands down. Number three, I am the most important person here. Sounds a little bit like I'm being big headed, doesn't it? But it will become clear. So let's look at those three, these three things one by one. So we can go away with something that we can learn and put into action. So the first thing, yes, there's been a time in my life where somebody's been unkind to me. I think we should be thinking about whether there is a time where we might have been kinder to somebody else. Or maybe being kind to somebody that we find a little bit annoying. Do you agree that the answer is yes? Good. Thank you. Hands down. Second point, I like it when people listen to me. I'm quite sure that other people like it when you listen to them. Maybe you can even listen to the person that sometimes you find a little bit annoying. Do you agree? The third thing, I am the most important person here. Now actually I'm not being big-headed, because you are all also the most important person here. Every single one of you. If you have a look around you, can you see somebody else in the room with you? Yes, yes. they're special. Very good. They're the most important person too. The reason for all this is that God made us all. Thank you for listening. Now, I have some stars of the week to announce now. These are teacher awards, and to reward them, I'm going to send out on Monday Headmaster's Award Certificate. Okay. So these go to Pre Prep, Abigail. For a beautiful thank you card that she did for Nanny and Grandad to say thank you for the Easter chocolate and say she hopes to see them very soon. Prep one, this goes to Georgia Spence, who has worked incredibly hard every day and has produced outstanding work, sent lovely video clips of her working, and has had such a positive attitude. Mrs. Sanders is very proud of you. Prep two. This goes to Finn for putting in lots of effort across all of his work and a really cheerful sunflower picture for his art. Prep three. Mr. McGrain's star of the week is Dylan. Excellent work despite still recovering from an operation in hospital. Well done, you. Mrs. Donovan's star of the week is Oliver. He's produced some outstanding pieces of work and has worked incredibly hard at home. His good sense of humour is evident in lots of his assignments, which has made Mrs. Donovan chuckle quite a bit. Prep 5. Miss Harris is here, actually. My star of the week goes to Lydia for sending me some lovely photos and videos of her running, but also being really positive about her home learning and thinking of it as a really positive way to learn herself. So well done, Lydia. Thank you, Miss Harris. Mrs. Bradbury's star of the week is Oscar, as he's engaged with every activity, he's stretched himself to do more challenging activities, and 
he is answering the daily questions that Mrs Bradbury is posting about her class book. Thank you too to Oscar for choosing our last hymn and for Village of the Help. So we're going to finish now with a hymn and that will be the end of our assembly. But we're going to do this every week. Next week on Friday, I think the following week will be a Thursday Holy School Assembly because it's a bank holiday. I want to say thank you to all of you, all of you, for your hard work. I've seen some amazing work. Thank you for mummies and daddies helping you too. I can imagine how that might feel. And thank you too for our wonderful teachers. Okay. Let's see if we can make a big noise. And you all know this one.